Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Well, I dug out my old Kohler generator. I got this, I'm guessing, in the late 90s. And got it at an engine show. I'm thinking it was Cool Springs. I traded something for it, or traded something and some money for it, or something. I don't remember it's been so long. Um, still got the tag on it. it says Kohler Light Plant. Runs $250. Well, you know me, I didn't pay $250, that's for sure. So, anyways, I wound up with it. And I brought it home, and it ran, but it didn't make any electric. I don't remember what the guy told me, whether he told me that or not, but that's a long time ago, it doesn't matter. So I never did anything with it other than pile stuff on it. So I figured it's about time. And I can't find a tag on the whole thing. So I'm not sure what model it is. It's the little four cylinder one that weighs just shy of 500 pounds. Um, and I'm th I know it's DC. And I'm th thinking it might be the auto start one. I'm not sure. Um, the only tag I can find on it, I think, is for this control, and it says, find a flashlight here, D1700, battery charging rate, in low, out high, D1700, Kohler Company, Kohler, Wisconsin, USA. So... And we've got a P and N there, so assuming that's positive and negative for the starting battery. And this little, there's a light socket on top here. And on that thing that's screwed in there, it says after pulling main switch, attach test light here. So I'm not sure what that's about. But it looks just like a regular light bulb socket. And this is a disconnect, a couple of fuses, and I'm not sure if this is how you start it. You close that, if there's a load it starts, don't know, not sure. So of course it didn't run when we got it out, and the points were dirty. So I did clean the points with it on there, which they're not really clean very well but enough that it, that it runs again. I'm going to take it apart and do a better job eventually. And we put a drip of oil in the uh, fan bearing and the fuel pump has a hand pump to prime it and that worked except this hose <laughs> which was pretty petrified, the one that was on there. When I pumped that, the gas just run right out of it. It was had so many cracks in it, so I found another piece of that vinyl crap put on there. And it had antifreeze in it when I got it. And it's still got it in there. You guys can say it or not, but it's still in there. Never leaked any of it out. And it, uh, the oil's still full, never leaked any of that either. And I believe this is electric choke. And it looks like it has some kind of electric assist on the, on the governor. So let me put you up on a tripod and 
I'll show you that it does run. Okay, you want to make a liar out of me? Joke. gonna run it much because I don't want to open my door it's cold out so it does run I can remember when I got it I popped this cover off and checked the brushes and stuff and the brushes were good and they were all free everything looked okay in there so I'm like 99% sure the problem is in here Got a bunch of relays. I'm not sure what they are. I did find some information on the internet. Um, but I'm sure that all these contacts are probably cruddy. And there are two porcelain resistors uh, with adjusters on them back in here. And as you can see, they're pretty crusty looking. So Probably going to wind up going through that whole control box, I guess you'd call it. And I found a picture of it on the internet. And this looks, well, not quite. <laughs> Pretty similar. Might be able to use some of it and figure it out. Found a picture of a picture, yeah. A wiring diagram. So hopefully that's gonna help out. So I'm gonna be working on it a little at a time. Um, I'll keep you guys updated as I go, but I just thought I'd put this quick video up of this uh next project so keep watching we'll have some more if you enjoyed or give me a thumbs up haven't subscribed please do thanks for watching we'll see you next time now it's been about 15 minutes since i said goodbye to you and i thought oh, i'm just gonna look this over a little bit and i went and got a couple of garden tractor batteries and hooked them up where it said plus and minus and I put a light bulb on these wires that for the output and when I close this, this relay closes. Uh, that's all that happens. So I was monkeying around and I pushed this relay. I haven't even cleaned any of them. I was just messing around. So, maybe it's not going to be as bad as I thought. So, I'm going to go ahead and clean them and I will say goodbye this time. See ya.